How to Build Global Ecology, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 184. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 184, October 2nd, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the third 25% of the written content for the personal growth lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of personal growth is now 75% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the first 25% of the written part of the individuality lesson plan. We also completed the second 25% of the mind map for the beliefs lesson plan, bringing it to 50% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team made additional edits to the code for the transition kitchen page. You can see images of that work here. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued updating the formatting of the pages for the upcoming Seven Villages online book. This week's work focused on creating a new Treehouse Village Pod 7 layout and more revisions in layout and formatting updates for the Duplical City Center and Shipping Container Village Pod 5 pages, as you can see here. The core team also put another 10 hours into the behind-the-scenes revision for the Footers, Foundations, and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week, we adapted the Single Dome Expanded Polystream EPS layout to a three-dome cluster configuration. We also reviewed the opening stock for additional rewrites to the narrative for specifications and locations of the doors and windows. We also created more EPS insulation sheet layout updates, as seen here. Ashwini Ramesh, civil engineer and project manager, also completed her fourth week of volunteering with One Community, continuing helping with project management of the Earth Bay Village, Pod 1, by helping organizing the hundreds of Earth Bay Village files and professional review, reorganization, and feedback on the footers, foundations, and flooring page. In addition to this, Brianna Johnson, interior designer, added final Photoshop details and edits to the Straw Bale Village Pod 2 apartment section render, this studio interior render looking east, this studio interior render looking west, and this final render of the outdoor patio area. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also continued evolving the compressed Earthblock Village Pod 4 rooftop recreation space in AutoCAD, which you can see on the top left. 
This being his tenth week working on these designs, he also started work on elevation drawings for this structure, continuing development in Revit. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, turned his attention to 3D creation of the specific blocks that will be used for the compressed earth block village pod 4. What you see here is his fifth week of 3D work using 3DS Max to work with us on this village. Jiming Chen, designer with his master's in architecture and BA in engineering, also joined the team and began further developing the Treehouse Village Pod 7. What you see here is his first week of this work focusing on structural floor support for the treehouses and stair and ladder emergency access options. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on the dining dome of the Duplical City Center. The focus can be seen here, fixing headroom clearance issues for the root cellar access that required changes to the adjacent dry storage and bathrooms. Ira Sue, industrial designer, continued render testing the recycled pipe shelving for the Duplical City Center library. What you see here is round 19 of her work. This week's focus was color changes, art options, and additional layout changes. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, and Shunan Yi, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering, PhD, continued their work on the city center column placement and calculations. The focus this week was on the fourth floor, as seen here. Neha Verma, construction project manager and bachelors of architecture, also helped with the headroom clearance issue, changes to the root cellar layout, and beginning what's needed for the city center wall and ceiling detail. And Dipti Dondurker, electrical engineer, also continued with her 17th week of work on the lighting zones, completing updates to the lighting zone spreadsheet that goes with last week's completed AutoCAD zone updates. Jin Feng, environmental consultant, also continued her research helping us create an in-depth laundry and dryer machine sustainability analysis. What you see here is her fourth week of behind-the-scenes research into this area. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Jennifer Zhao, web designer, completed her 12th week of work developing the new website structure. We lost a week of work due to a website crash, so her work was mainly focused on restoring what was lost. One way to describe what one community is doing is demonstrating how to build global ecology. See, we believe that it is possible that the technology already exists for humanity to live in a symbiotic relationship with the rest of Earth and all living creatures on it. We believe that it is possible for humanity to operate or function as stewards of this planet, to take care of our resources and create a world that, for the first time in human history, truly works for everybody. We believe that the resources, the knowledge, and the willpower exists to do this within our lifetime. And so we are creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions specifically for that purpose. Our idea is that if we can make the idea and the specific steps for how to build global ecology easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate them as attractive enough, then we can create a global ecology within our lifetime. We can create a society that truly lives for the highest good of all of its fellow people, but also all of its fellow creatures on this planet and for the planet itself. We can manage our resources intelligently, we can manage our social interactions intelligently, and we can create a society that is effective in addressing all of the challenges of this generation and generations to come. And so our way to accomplish that is by open sourcing all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of highest good living. And we have defined those aspects of highest good living as the physical foundations of highest good living, which are food, energy, and housing. And we're combining those with the emotional foundations of highest good living, which we've identified as highest good education, fulfilled living practices, highest good economics, and true earth stewardship. 
And we're putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability to demonstrate a way of living that we feel that most people will find to be better than the way that they're living right now. And it's all built on this idea of building global ecology. It's all built on this idea of being true earth stewards and doing it in a way that is not difficult, it's not challenging, that actually provides a way of living that's better than the way people are living right now so that ultimately the idea will spread on its own. We call these teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs, and their purpose to be self-sufficient, self-sustainable, and most importantly, self-replicating. Solution models purposed specifically to create additional solution creating models. Doesn't mean that everybody has to participate that way, but by building the teacher demonstration hub specifically to help others create solution creating models as well, that's what makes the model work the best. And so the more we share what we do and the more others share what we, we, they do following our model, the more they invite people to participate, invite people to come and visit and experience what it is that one community is creating and replicate it if they agree with it, to replicate either the complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub, or just any individual component, the more we do that, the more people do that, the more we move our planet to that ultimate tipping point of a world that, that will work for everybody that point where enough people are participating so that those that aren't participating will be taken care of anyway. So that the ripple effect expands out and touches everyone and ultimately then every living thing on this planet. And we believe that we can do this in our lifetime. So we're bringing together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that agree that that's possible, want to be a part of it, and are willing to take action right now. We're not waiting for somebody else to do it. This idea of how to build a global ecology has already been completely detailed out. All the details are already there. Now it's time to continue to finish the plans and to start building. So if you too possess the, con possess the consciousness for the highest good of all, if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds like something you'd like to participate in, get involved. Get involved as either a pioneer or a satellite member, which are core team members. The pioneers being the people that will move to the property and actually build everything that one community is designing and launch the education program and host all that and continue to open source all the content. Or you can get involved as a volunteer working behind the scenes right now, helping creating all the open source plans and instructions and helping to build the website and do everything that we've been doing now consistently for six years. Or if you want the easiest way to help us out, a way that anybody can help out, Help us share our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible because we understand that reaching that global tipping point can only be achieved if enough people understand what it is that we're doing. And so we are on, we're on all the social media networks. We are on Pinterest. We are on Tumblr. We are on Reddit. We are on Facebook. We are on, uh, <laughs> which one? Do we, have? we are on about 15 other social media networks. So to make it as easy as possible for people to share our information and to get the information out there so in the hands of the people that want it and desire it most and spread the word. So if you'd like to help us out, help us share our information. Of course, the biggest thing that would help us out is, of course, we're still seeking large-scale funding. It's not our primary focus right now because we continue to focus 99% of our attention on the creation of open source tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints. But that said, we are still seeking large-scale funding to purchase the property that we've been focused on for the last six years to get that property underneath the ownership of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. So that if you, so if you or someone you know has the resources or know somebody who has the resources to help us get the property off the market, we would love to speak with you. Of course, we're also super grateful for all the little donations that we get. Our operation expenses are still greater than the donations that we get. So the $5 donations, the $10 donations, the $20 donations, you know, the occasional $50 or more donations that we get help to cover the expenses for a global organization like ours, which are quite sizable, even though 100% of our organization is unpaid. I'm not paid. Nobody on our team is paid for what it is that we're doing. We're a 100% volunteer organization. So, but the expenses still, the web expenses and things like that associated with running an, a, a global organization like ours are still pretty sizable. So thank you for the donations. And thank you for the comments. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for the input. Thank you for the emails. All of that is what helps make us better. It's, help, it's what helps build one community. And so, and of course, if you've listened, if you've watched until this far in the video, thank you for watching all the way to the end. So 
this is what we're doing. This is how we're building global ecology. This is our idea of teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs, a self-replicating model and an evolution of sustainability designed specifically to provide a way of living that is better than the way that, that most people consider to be better than the way they're living right now, that also is for the highest good of all life on this planet. Putting all these things together to demonstrate this model and making it as easy and affordable and as attractive as necessary so that it'll spread on its own. This is what one community is doing. This is how we're creating global change. You're invited to participate and follow and uh, get involved or just to follow our progress in the way that works best for you. Of course, if you like an email, every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to One Community Updates and follow our progress by getting an email every week when one of these updates comes out. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, manage your updates that way. And uh, Or, of course, you can uh, follow us on social media. Lots of different ways. So. Until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you for following our progress, and have a great week.